Riddle me this. Riddle me that. Who's afraid of the big black bat? <laughs> oh! Hello again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, you all. Today, we are reviewing... Batman Forever! Yeah. But for the third installment of the Batman movie, they decided to go a little... What? They replaced Michael Keaton with Bale Kilmer and shorts... And that... Gone this... was the darkness, gone was the demented quirkiness, and gone was both Tim Burton as director and Michael Keaton as Batman. In the directing chair was Joel Schumacher, and in the bat suit was Val Kilmer. And I gotta be honest with you, this movie is a reboot. This movie feels like a reboot. You think everything's changed? The Batmobile... The suit? Well, well, you know, if the ba you know, with the Batmobile and the suit changing, that you know, that could be fine because you know, y y you probably would want to change the Batmobile. But there are, but the titles, like the opening title s screens, is all uh, is like, you know, with all this. I mean, it's really good, but it's kind of feeling like this is a different universe. This is not the one that we gr that we grew up with. It's totally weirdville, man. It's late at night, and, uh, we've been pretty, we're pretty tired. We're shut up. Well, anyway, uh, I said, stop saying that. I stutter too much. This movie consists of Vale Kilmer, Tommy Lee Jones, Jim Carrey, Nicole Kidman, and Chris O'Donnell, a.k.a. Robin. Yeah, there were many other attempts to put, to put Robin in the Batman series. Batman, in fact, the first Batman movie was supposed to have Robin in it, you know, and have, in fact, the storyboard, early storyboardings were supposed to have the Joker killing Robin's parents, but that script fell through, and then in Batman Returns, they kind of had something about, uh, uh, Bruce Wayne's mechanic, and that was supposed to spin off to being Robin, and the guy who was supposed to play him was Robin Williams, I don't know. In this movie, it's a bit different because in this, because in the comic books, Tony Zuko killed Robin's parents, but in this one, it's Two Face. Yes, and this one, he it he does have two different personalities. Yeah, but Tommy Lee Jones is Two Face. Now, as you know from our first, yeah. one man is born a winner. Is a Yeah, after the Black! Blind, stupid, simple, dude, clueless luck! <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the beginning of that scene with Two Face, it starts to sound like Tommy Lee Jones. By the time the ending comes, you're like, What the hell was that? I mean, seriously. And plus, Billy Dee Williams. Now, I feel really sorry for Billy Dee Williams because he really wanted to play this role. But they were just two faces to him. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, seriously. It's, but that's confusing. I mean, did he contract the same disease as Michael Jackson or something? I know. I'm... <laughs> I'll hit you with this weight if you ever say that again. Okay, anyway, uh, uh, so who should we move on to? Which character? Uh, Let's move on to Jim to riddle me this, riddle me that. Who's afraid of the big bad bat? Jim Carrey. Now, the, in this one, he starts out working for Bruce Wayne, but in the, but... In the end, since he turned down his idea, he goes psycho. Yeah, and actually kills his boss uh, by attempting suicide. And, and well, uh, third I mean, sub big Goda! Yeah, and he, um, Ooh. yeah, and um, he he creates this fake, you know, computer animation thing that makes him that makes it look like it was a suicide. So it's pretty interesting. But the riddles, this is the, this is the one of the main problems of the movie. The riddles are so. Freaking easy. They're way too easy. You, you know, uh, a five-year-old could come up, could uh, could uh, figure that out. I mean, 
But I did not get the last one, though. Yeah, it didn't really make sense. Like, how the heck... Cause you gotta be really, really clever and under to understand it. Because that was just like... That... How would you know? You know? And plus... He's the world's greatest detective. He knows everything. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's obvious. But really, Edward Nigma, you know, there was... He doesn't come. He doesn't really come up with that many ways to disguise himself. He just wears like these little, uh, m this mask that's like yeah. A thin here's what he goes through. He tries to the puzzler, the gamester, Captain Kill. Question mark man. No, 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 no. Yeah, and then the it's just not right. Yeah, it's, it's just not right. So, yeah, uh, uh, he doesn't really do that much with his disguise, because all he comes up with is, okay, he wears this Riddle suit, okay, but all, the really only difference, because change, wearing a orange wig and wearing a mask that has this thing, and to come to think of it, glasses, him and Two-Face acted pretty gay in this film. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I do not get it. Yeah, he was just like, you're a genius, and he's like, oh, just. And that's, I was just like, you know, because that was just really, really cool. Really and great. there's something else. Tommy, Two-Face has two wives. I don't that's think amazing. He, I don't think he has two wives. I think he just has, like, two hench girls or something like that. Yeah. Hench woman. Yeah, I don't know too many hench girls that he met, that, that he sleeps with, though. Um, well... I don't know too many villains that sleep with his hench girls. Mm -mm. Well, maybe maybe they're not like maybe they're not they're not wives. Maybe they're uh, maybe in a way maybe they're just girlfriends, you know, in a way. And he's okay, and they're both okay with the fact that. Well, okay, one's dating the good side, the other's dating the bad side. Talk about a splitting headache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, who who should we move on to next? Bad. <laughs> oh yeah, we should have started with him. Uh, yeah, Val Kilmer as Bruce Wayne. He kind of you kind of believe that he is. He's not as quiet as the as Michael Keaton was, and he can't. And the smile. And to tell you the truth, he can't pull off the dark smile yeah. like he can. Yeah, because with Michael Keaton it was like this, and, and Val Kilmer was like this. And he and with Michael Keaton, you can actually look intimidating and. Still scare the hell out. Can yeah, actually but, smile and still scare the hell out of people. Yeah, this Batman is given a little too many one-liners. Like it's it's a car, right? Chicks dig the car. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's 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 a little weird. And to tell you the truth, they put but he do... on the bat suit. Well, yeah, but the good yeah, but um, this wasn't as much as a problem in this movie as it will be in the next movie. Uh, more on that on bat on our review of Batman and Robin. Anyway, he is. Although he does do a good Bruce Man Wayne, I, I will I will admit that he he does look like he is a um he's a billionaire. You could believe. I'm a billionaire. Okay, who's next? Chris O'Donnell. Oh uh, yeah, it's Robin. Well, let's see. He's actually the well. He's the only Robin I know of. In real life. Well, technically, no. He's not the only Robin. There's also Burt Ward. From the 60s show. But this guy looks badass, though. Yeah, but another thing... It's kind of... doesn't. It's not really cl clear why Bruce would want to adopt him. Because he's like... Because in the comics, he was like 12 when he joined the comic... When he joined it. But in this movie, he's at the least... I mean, you could say he's 16. But no, he's not. He's like... Oh, he's in a college... No, I don't even think he's in college, because let's see, Chris Nolan was like, he was 27 when he did Batman and Robin, so he was 25 when he did this. So he was, he was, I think he's old, so yeah, maybe he was playing a 16 year old, I don't know, but uh, that was not really explained, it was never really truly explained why. Now, well, let's move on to another character. Nicole Kingman, she's the last one. Yeah, um... I just have to say she can put. Have to say she looked really. She's 
lot hotter than the other girls. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but she's supposed to be a psychologist, and I don't really think psychologists are supposed to dress very... Uh, Sexual. Yeah, and by the way, she cares more... I think she she really cares more about getting into bed with Batman as opposed to finding out why he does this. Well, you know... She really does... Yeah, so really... But, uh, you know, she did... Uh, Nicole Kimmon does pr a pretty good job, and the, the... The role is not bad, it's just a little... A little strange doubt, but at least it's better than what they come up in Batman and Robin. More on that. Focus. More, Focus. More on that. Focus. More on that. 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 More More angry than the stout critic. I can just say that much. You never even seen that. Well, anyway. I'm Johnny. Oh, wait. We haven't. We, we're still not done with it. Now, there are a couple things I wish they could have, um... Now, I like how this, like how... Commissioner Gordon doesn't do shit in this film. He, do he doesn't do shit in any of these movies. So, yeah, that's not really that big of a complaint. Cause every but we're and not going to make... We're not going to make, make... The fun Box! We're not going to make fun of Pat Hingle, you know, because he, uh, he sadly passed away a few years ago. Um, so we're not going to... We're not going to bash on him because uh you know that'd be pretty that'd be pretty disrespectful no more weights <laughs> okay come on Just give a smile a uh, regular smile okay anyway where were we um we were about to give them our ratings. No, no, no. We were. Not, we. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, no. let's see. There was another. There was another thing. Um, there was actually a. Lease. They changed the Batmobile. Yeah, that we are. We, yeah, but there's another thing. I that they, there's a scene that they cut out from the movie, which I wish they hadn't. There's this. It's a scene where it's before he suits up and teams up with Rob, and finally Robin and all that, and they go into the Batmo Batboat and Batwing to go fight Two Face and the Riddler. Um. He's in the uh, that little well thing where he fell when he first saw the bat, which inspired him to become Batman. And he looks at his father's diary, and on the final page of when, he, of when his father wrote before he died, it says, Martha and I want to stay home, but Bruce insists on going to see a movie. And that is the most interesting thing. So basically, in a way, it's kind of Bruce's fault, because if he hadn't... Just, it's you know, not... No, well, it's, it's never his fault. Well, I mean, it's like... It's not... He kind of... He kind of blames himself. That would have been... It. Sorry about that. Our battery went dead. Um, okay. Like I said, that deleted... Cutting out that deleted scene was like... Really... It was just really stupid of them. Because that was one of the most interesting things in the movie. You know? I mean, it was... It was just so interesting. I mean, what did you think? I didn't see it. Oh, well, I'll show it to you li after this review. My arm! Ow! Ah! You bastard! You stabbed my arm! Fell for it? That was so stupid. Why did you want to do that joke again? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Uh, anything else? Yeah, um, I'm sorry that this review is so terrible because my brother has the worst ideas ever. He's an idiot, he's a loser, and he doesn't have a girlfriend yet. So any of you girls that want to date him, so just reply, put your address in, and he'll be there. Although I have to warn you, he's a bit... Okay, he has stop no muscle. that. Okay, anyway, um, uh, like I said, Batman Forever, it's, it's a good, it's a, it's a good, I mean... I think the... It's good, just not better than the other two. Yeah, I mean, if... But the one thing... The good adva This is one good advantage. If you have, like, really young kids, I'm gonna say, like, six or seven, and you don't want to exploit, ex exploit them to mild language or sex, 
this is probably the best way to go. This is probably the best uh, Batman movie that you can show to your kids. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's give our ratings. Let's give our ratings. I give Batman Forever a 5.5 5 out of 10. You? 5.7. No, it's only like 5. Well, I give it a 5.7. Okay. Um, it's good. It's a fun movie to watch. You know, although... It's half good, half bad. Yeah. Anyway, I'm Johnny. And I'm Donnie. And see you when we review the most notorious Batman movie and worst Bat movie of all, Batman and Robin. Goodbye. See you soon.